In section 3.7, we're going to be talking about domain and range. We recall that our domain is considering most of the time our x values, and we want to know how far does the graph go to the left and how far to the right. When we're talking about our range, we want to, we're looking at our y values, and we want to know the bottom of the graph to the top of the graph. So in these next graphs, we're going to look. First of all, we're going to do domain, which is left to right. The leftmost point on the graph is right here, so it's going to be represented with a bracket 0. And the rightmost point of the graph, if you see both of them are arrows pointed in the right, so it's going to be positive infinity with a parenthesis. The range says the bottom of the graph, which this part keeps on going forever, so that's negative infinity, and the top of the graph keeps going forever as well, so we have negative infinity to positive infinity. On problem number two, we do domain. Left, the graph has a, goes on forever to the left, and it goes on forever to the right, so our domain is represented negative infinity, positive infinity. Now we're going to do our range. Bottom, this bottom is on the y-axis, is going to be zero. And then the top part of the graph, if you see the top of this graph, goes on forever in both directions, on both sides, so it's going to be infinity. On our next graph, our domain goes, our leftmost point has an arrow, so it's going to be negative infinity. And our rightmost point on the graph has an arrow, which is positive infinity. Now we look at our range, which is our y values. The bottommost point is at 0. And the top point is going to go on forever because it's going to have arrows on both ways. So on the top part of the graph, it's also going to be positive infinity. Next, our circle says how far to the left. It goes negative 3 to the left to positive 3 to the right. So it's going to be negative 3 to positive 3. Our range is our y values. Its bottom is negative 3. The top is positive 3. So you get negative 3, positive 3 on that one as well. Number 5, the leftmost point is infinity, because negative infinity because they have arrows in both directions. And our rightmost point on the graph has arrows here, arrow here. That means a positive infinity. Our bottommost point is going to be negative infinity, and it goes to 3. So I'm going to say negative infinity to negative 3 with the bracket. Union, because we have a gap right here, I say union, and then it picks back up at positive 3 and then goes on forever. So bracket, positive 3, and then goes on forever, so it's infinity. On number 6, our domain, the leftmost point, have arrows, so that's going to be negative infinity. And then it goes, it stops at negative 2. So it stops at negative 2 with a bracket. Union, there's a gap right here, and then it picks back up at positive 2 and goes on for infinity. So I say positive 2 to infinity. Our range says, if I start at the bottom, they both have arrows, and I go to the top, they both have arrows, so it starts at negative infinity and ends at positive infinity. Number seven, our domain, our leftmost point is here, but if you see our graph is scaled by two, so that's a one, and it goes on to seven. Our domain goes from one to seven, and our range as well, this is scaled by 2, is so that's a 1, and this one is 7, so it's also 1 to 7. Number 8, our leftmost point is 3. Our rightmost point is going to be arrows, so it's infinity, so we go from 3 to infinity. And our range says the bottom has an arrow, and the top has an arrow, so it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. Number nine, 
our um, left and right points. This is the exact same line, so it only goes to negative 2, and that's it, left and right. Now, for the range, the bottom is infinity, negative infinity, and the top is positive infinity, negative infinity to positive infinity. And our last one, number 10, we have how far to the left, negative infinity, how far to the right, positive infinity. So we express that. And then we, our range, we say how far from the bottom, well here, and how far to the top, it's just the value of 3. So lesson 3-7 was just a very basic concept of domain and range. Remember your domain is your x values, your range is um, corresponding to your y values, and you just answer accordingly. And also recall that infinities never have brackets, they always have parentheses.